Sorry I wasn't able to uh, make a couple videos, but this is the 13th vlog that I've made because I was sick. So today I'm going to be talking about um, <clears throat> a little bit about two things, the changing weather and Mortal Kombat. But first I want to say that it's good to be back and I will try to make videos. Hopefully I don't get sick again, but that was my own being my own doing so alright yeah <clears throat> oh yeah tanks here too so um I was supposed to have I was supposed to have a special guest but obviously she can't come in but hopefully in one of the other vlog in my next vlog or whenever she'll come in and sit in on that but anyway um yeah so what do you want to talk about first? Change of weather or? Uh, hold on. Let me move this camera because you're not even in it. Uh, no, I'm not even in it. So. We're both centered, aren't we? There. I'll turn this way. And. <clears throat> and uh, that's good enough. Whatever. But anyway, yeah, so. I noticed it's been getting cold out here. Yeah, uh, in California the weather's been changing from hot to cold, hot to cold, and hot during the day and very cold at night. It's getting everybody sick, so it's around that time where everybody's getting the flu. Y yeah, so it's amazing you haven't got it yet, so... No, no, I've been having it. It's been a week now, or more than a week, that I've been pretty sick. Just been taking care of myself as best I can so yeah and um, yeah I've been I've been trying to keep myself at a hundred percent but it hasn't always been easy so but luckily Tank has been giving me lots of advice he tried a garlic blip or garlic bread method which is very good but um but yeah you know garlic has some uh, properties that are good for you when you're sick I don't really know what it, they are now, but uh, we'll say uh, that. Yeah, for look it up. Time. Google it. Yeah. So. Yeah, but man, it, I don't know. It's starting to get a lot colder. Feels like what? Feels like winter's here already. Yeah, it's uh, beginning of November, and uh, people are going shopping, putting things on layaway. For Christmas. Oh yeah, uh, shopping yeah. Shopping malls are gonna be packed. And there's also a thing called um, I don't know if it takes place in November, but it's called Black Friday. Um, yeah, Black <clears throat> Friday comes right after Christmas. I don't know if you take part in that. No, I don't. I think it's ridiculous. Uh, you know, I think Black Friday is a way to get people to impulsively, especially, I mean, impulsively buy, especially people who travel from other states and, you know, they go out after Christmas, what are you going to do? You know, you got to return gifts and, and, uh, what a perfect day to have a sale day, right? Yeah. Which, which doesn't seem to be, a, uh, much of a savings whatsoever or, I yeah. don't know. It's, it's for people. I, I believe it's for people to make impulsive buys. Um, yep. And plus, Black Friday is a very, very hectic time of the year because you're trying to get somewhere and get all this stuff that you need to buy out of the store. It's like people actually camp out in front of stores. That's kind of... I think that's pretty pathetic. Yeah, I mean... I mean... To buy stuff, really. Uh, what what else do you need? There really isn't anything on sale. Uh, if anything, they're just trying to, you know, make up any kind of um, uh, sell incentive to get people to buy. Oh, we're pushing out our 2011 products so that uh, you know make room for 2012. No. Actually, you can buy stuff any day, you know, <laughs> um, and, uh... Oh, oh yeah, uh, just to let you guys know, um, 
this has been a, such an interesting topic that I'm going to split it into like three different parts all about Black Friday. So, yeah, um, even though I've never taken part in it, but I've had some friends that has some friends that do that. Um, I think it's pathetic, but although some other people think it's very cool to just be like, oh, give me that, give me that, give me that, when there's so much stuff that they already have. I mean, don't you think? Yeah, you just... Uh what are people thinking, you know, after already buying so much stuff? Why put more stuff in your credit card? Um, or buying things when you don't have money. Um, so anyways, uh, like I said, I feel like Black Friday is a, it should be called Impulsive Buy Day for people who are out of states because uh, there's just something about traveling somewhere and you just feel like, you know, buying. You know, you're somewhere, you want to do something, oh, let's go shopping, you know. Yeah, and Sally's told me this plenty of times too, and you've told me this, life's not all about buying anything. You don't have to buy every single thing that's on the shelf, you know? Yeah, like yeah. The stores that, that, that's know? right, that's right. So, uh... Let's move on to another subject. What, what, Mortal Kombat, right? All right, yeah. Um, Mortal Kombat and change of weather. But I think we pretty much covered the change of weather stuff. Yeah, it's making everybody sick. Um, <clears throat> no fun, but no fun, exactly. but we all have to go through it. That anyway. Um, but um, yeah. Well, I guess Mortal Kombat's not really the big talk about talk about all around gaming thing but what can you do I mean it's still a great game um, but well other than that um, I'll let Tang talk about it because he got he knows a lot more about it than I do yeah uh, actually you play it more than I do why don't you yeah play but, up a little bit so you can be in this stream right. there uh, what do I know about Mortal Kombat when I was uh, when the, f when the game came out in arcade, Mortal Kombat, the very first one, I'm not talking about the newest one that came out on the PS3 oh, no. or, or the Xbox 360, not yet, I'm getting there. Um, the thing about it was uh, how gory it was and how they tried to make it photographic and look real as possible. Of course it's really exaggerated bloody gore, but that's what made the game really fun. and. Moreover, you got the fatality thing in towards the end. Hey. Oh, hey, Marcus. You guys watching? <coughs> watching no, we're it. not watching anything. Oh, you're you're like... disrupting, man. You're making a video. Oh, I'm sorry. Get out of here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, yeah, um, that was one of our friends that came in. It's Marcus. But, uh, yeah. With his wet hands in the air. I think I'll have him on. I think, I think I'll try and have him on the show. I think he needs to go dry his hands uh, or something. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Um, I noticed you take a liking to games like that, and so do I. But mainly for the stories. I mean, what did you think of the stories? You like, you like it because it's not, it's not all one thing. There's many, many characters. Yeah. So fast forwarding to, uh, you know, from my childhood to now. Uh, you know, I, I am still a fan of Mortal Kombat. Not so much with the in-between Mortal Kombat's, like after two or... After three, I kind of got tired of it. But they redid everything, and they made it very nostalgic to the original. Original backgrounds in that uh, very much improve. Very streamlined story where the characters uh, interact with uh, other characters. And then you're into the fighting part of the game. Kind of like how Final Fantasy VII started with a train scene and then uh, they hop off the train and then the game begins and you control the characters immediately. Great game so, by the way. That's probably another one I will talk about later. Final Fantasy X2 is a great game also. Yeah, so so uh, Mortal Kombat does a really great uh, job on streamlining the story into the fighting. And uh, it really feels like there's nothing loading. You know, you, you just watch the storyline, and bam, you're fighting. And it links all, all the backgrounds, 
have a little story to go with what's going on. It's and almost like they can make it into like some sort of a book that people would want to read, though. Book slash game. Right, right. It is uh, is very entertaining. It's not so much. It's not too much cinematics to the point where you're like, I'm watching a movie. I'm not playing a game. It's it feels like you're playing the game and you're being more involved. And uh, and plus they added X-ray, which is which is a you know a super powerful move you perform, much like in uh, Street Fighter series where you do a super combo or something, you execute a super move. Um, uh, what more combat does is you attack your character, and you see you see the bones shattering in their body. You know, skulls, which is always arms, legs, which is always a very 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 cool thing for any guy to want to see. Yeah, yeah, I do agree. We should have closed that door. Oh, oh well, it's too late now. No, well, no big deal. We'll close it next segment. Um, but oh yeah, so we got only like f under four minutes to go. We should wrap it up pretty soon. Oh yeah. Um. <clears throat> well, we'll can like I said. Um, we'll continue more about either. For fourteen, will be either more on change the weather, or more on Black Friday, or more on this. Whatever we talk whatever about. Whatever we talk will about would be, be the it's, subject. It's. We'll just put. Whatever we talk about or ramble about, it's going to be. Uh, the title of the video. Yeah. Uh, All right. Um, I think I think this is good enough about uh, Mortal Kombat. It's worth playing Mortal Kombat. If you ever felt like it's a game that you once loved and you no longer love anymore, uh, you know you should play. I know it's a little bit late to be talking about Mortal Kombat since it's been out for a while. But, uh, but uh, one final thing I just want to point out, if it's ever on sale on Black Friday, never try and get it because you're not going to get your hands on a copy of it. There are going to be too many people getting it. Yeah. Just well, wait for it. Like, go on GameStop or get it before. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to point out there. Okay, yeah. All right, this is Tank signing out. And yeah, Andrew? And we're out here. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>